Hello and welcome to Lessoncilla. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy Microsoft 365 Office applications using Intune. Now, before we forget, just a couple of things to let you know what your environment must be in order to use this feature. So, first of all, you need to have a user in your Microsoft 365 tenant, just like in my one, with an appropriate license, which gives them the desktop applications of Office apps, for example, Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft Excel, and PowerPoint, and so forth. So, I've got a user that I'm going to use, which is the one that you're seeing on the screen, and that user has got an E3 license. Um, so that condition is met. And the other condition, of course, is that the device of um, your end users must be enrolled into Intune. So um, in this example, I've got my user's device enrolled in Intune. So let's go ahead and see how this is done. So log into your Microsoft 365 portal by going into portal.office.com and go to admin center, click on endpoint manager to open up your Intune admin center. Once you're there, click on apps, click on all apps and click add, select add type, Microsoft 365 apps, Windows 10 and later. Now, if you've got Mac OS devices, you can use Mac OS options as well. But in this example and in this tutorial, uh, I'm using a Windows environment. So I'm going to click Microsoft Windows 10 and later. Click select. You can leave the name as it is. If you want to make changes, you're welcome to do that. Um, there's nothing really that you need to change here. Uh, the only other setting that you could perhaps want to look at changing is this one here. Show this as a featured app in the company portal. So if your end users already have um, company portal on their Windows devices, um, you could click yes and these um, apps, Microsoft 365 apps will show up there and they would be able to download the apps and install it using company portal as well. So if it's necessary, you can turn this switch on to yes. Now, just bear in mind that in this example, the virtual machine I'm using is brand new, freshly built and joined to um, Azure AD and enrolled in Intune. So it does not have company portal or it does not have any existing Office 365 applications. So click next. Now in here, you're um, given some options that you can configure, uh, the, basically the configuration of um, your deployment of your Microsoft 365 apps. Um, configuration settings format, I'm just gonna leave configuration designer. Um, if you want to enter XML data, which I think is probably gonna be complicated for most of the users, so you don't have to do this. It's much easier to leave it as configuration designer. And in here, you will be given the settings that you can customize uh, very easily. So in here, select Office apps. You've got a default list of apps that are already selected. I am happy with this. The only thing that's not included is Skype for Business, which I don't need it anyway. And the plan that uh, my user has, the Office 365 plan that the user has does not come with Skype for Business anyway. So that's irrelevant. Um, and um, if you have other Office applications which provides other uh, features like VCO or project, you can select this, but make sure that your user actually has that add-on included in their, in their Office 365 plan. Uh, now, these days, most people use 64-bit um, because the operating systems, the Windows operating systems, Windows 10 and 11, Mostly uh, these days are on 64-bit. So leave 64-bit if your uh, architecture is 64-bit. Uh, default file format, I'm going to select Office Open XML format. So this is the most compatible format that's out there. If you like, you can select Office Open document format as well. But Microsoft recommends to use Office Open XML format. So I'm just going to select that. 
update channel. Microsoft recommends that you use current channels so your end users get the most up-to-date Microsoft uh, features with their Office applications. Uh, but if you want to predict a little bit more and be more prepared, you can select monthly enterprise channel as well. Um, and if you've got a situation where you have different device groups that needs different update channels, you can create this policy twice and assign it to a group of devices with current channel um, and another group with my monthly enterprise channel or semi-annual enterprise channel. But I'm just going to keep this tutorial simple and select the Microsoft recommended um, update channel, which is current channel. Now, this feature in here is for people who have got Office uh, applications on their computers installed already. Uh, if it is installed already, this selecting this switch to yes will obviously remove the existing version and install the latest version. Uh, for my test scenario, I don't have um, Office applications already installed on my virtual machine, but I'm just gonna leave this anyway in case I've got a user who's already got Office installed, which was some time ago, and maybe that's not up to date, this will remove the older versions and install the latest version, which is what I want. Now, use shared computer activation. This is not relevant. If you hover over this little eye icon, it'll tell you what it means. Um, and I really don't want to uh, install search uh, in Bing, this feature. So I'm just gonna select no for that feature. And for languages, I'm just gonna click the hyperlink and select English, US, select okay, click next. Now this is where you will assign this policy to um, your devices. Now, in reality, when in you're doing this in production, I recommend that you test this with a pilot group of devices and if all goes according to plan, you can um, come back and edit the assignments and assign this policy to all devices, uh, which means all devices, Windows devices that are enrolled in Intune would get Office applications. Um, in this tutorial, since this is a test environment, I'm just gonna go and simply select add all devices. Uh, in my assignment. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to click next and then just review the settings. It all looks good to me. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and click create. Okay, so now the policy has been created. Um, it'll take some time to be deployed to um, all your devices. Uh, but one thing you can do to speed up the process is if you want to test it with one device, you can go to devices. In this scenario, I only have one device. I'm just going to click on the device and then click the sync button here, which would make my virtual machine, the test device that I'm using to force to talk to Intune and download any new policies and sync any new policies that may have been deployed. So which is what we want to do. So I'm just going to select yes. So the sync has been initiated. It can still take a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause my video um, and give it a few minutes. As soon as I see the um, policy has been applied to my test device, I'll uh, resume the video. Okay, now it has been a few minutes, about 15 minutes since I deployed the policy um, and manually forced a sync between my Azure AD joined Intune enrolled test device um, with Intune. Um, now I can see the uh, Office applications have been installed successfully, as you can see here. Um, and our job is done, which means it's all good to go. Um, I just wanted to point out one thing before I end the video. Um, 
when you do this for the first time you'll get this um, notification just click close and as you can see you're automatically logged into your office applications which is great um, what I wanted to point out was in here you should see successfully or like it, the installations uh, count um, but for some reason it's still not updated but when you deploy this to your devices and end users um, if you click on device installation status or use installation status well actually it is showing up here now uh, which is great um, seems like there's a delay it's actually installed properly which is great um, but what I wanted to tell you was um, if you were to come back to the policy and it'll it'll actually show you in here the count or the logs of um, which devices and which users um, have gotten um, office applications installed through this policy which can be handy so you can click on device install status or um, use install status and confirm um, who has actually gotten the office applications through the policy so um, guys that's it for this video I hope you learned something new today if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you've got any questions about this process um, leave a comment below um, if you're not a subscriber to my channel please consider subscribing I'll catch you guys in the next one thank you bye bye